As expected of my lord, you have kept your promise. Hm. I'm a man of my word. There's no need to praise me for doing something that is expected of me. Looks like this is the end for the Angel of Avarice. So, what now? Oh, that reminds me, there's a bounty on you too. For the upcoming presidential eve election, we'll need some funds. Wouldn't be a bad idea to fund our regime usurpation project with the money on your head. Fenfen is so evil! He's evil and awful, so Desko should learn from him. It's the right thing for a demon to do, but it's hard to believe that he's doing this solely for his lord. Mm-hmm. He looks like a serious villain. It really suits him, though. Say what you want. This is why women and children are so troublesome. They let their emotions blind them to the big picture. Yep. There's no point in explaining anything to shallow-minded individuals. Pretty much. What about you? Is there anything you'd like to mention? I'll let you say it for free. May I ask you something? Me? What is it? Why is the Netherworld neglecting the human world when such a powerful demon as you exists here? I've been told that demons tame humans by planting fear in their hearts to keep them in line. But you have neglected your duties and are just watching the humans follow the wrong path. Why is this happening? You have the power to change this, so why aren't you doing anything? That's the exact same question I have. I'm just a Prinny instructor. A Prinny instructor? You? Indeed. The Corruptament and the Netherworld have fallen to the point where a demon like me is forced to take a stand to correct it. If it was up to me, and I hadn't lost my power, I'd easily send all the demons and humans to Hades, but... You... lost your power? It's a long story. I'm a vampire, but I forbid myself from drinking human blood. A vampire forbidden from sucking blood? I see. But, thanks to sardines, even after losing my power, I'm still able to fight to accomplish my goal. It's taken me a long time to realize that things have gotten so bad, but it's still not too late. I shall eventually take over the Corruptament and teach all the worlds a lesson. A demonic social reformer. Mm hmm, Mr. Weirdo. I'll soon be traded into the Corruptament from the bounty on my head, but won't you tell me your name? For free, if possible. My name is Valvatores, a demon who was once known as the Tyrant. Valvatores? <gasps> that reaction! She has to be! That's enough. You've got to speak with a man who will soon become the Netherworld ruler. You should be honored. Now, instead of wasting any more time here, we must go trade her. What are you doing? Ah! The love scene at last? You get off of him! <laughs> hey, get a hold of yourself! Everyone, look! Oh, wow. Looks like my era has just begun. Warden Axel, you're alive! Lame ass Axel is back. Why did you protect me? I thought money was the only thing you cared for. Damn it! Why? Why do I keep seeing Artina in you? You and Artina are two different people. So why? Answer me! You can't die until you answer me! This encounter, later to be known as the Angel of Avarice incident, came to an end in a most unexpected fashion. Tyrant Valvatores' shout, which heralded the end of the incident, was said to have shaken the entire netherworld. Wow. That's one way to end the episode. Like a lightning bolt from a clear sky, 
an ephemeral existence snuffed out by great violence. It must really I don't think she's dead. That angel might have been our Tina. I don't think she's dead yet. In their names. They're not always considered to be sardines outside of Japan. Sardines again? Is he trying to use sardines as a way to escape from reality? Big fish that swim in foreign seas are called Oka Iwashi <laughs> and Itohiki Iwashi, even though they are deep sea fish. There's no end to the sardine spirit in Japanese culture. Someday, every fish will be called something Iwashi. Whatever. Wow. Why don't we start calling every fish an Iwashi? Next time, episode six, Sayonara Zetsubo Battlefront. Your sardine standards are distorted. There's no room for despair. He's really losing himself. Oh, a dreadful woman. Okay then. That was that was interesting. If there's a cutscene after this, once it's over, I'm gonna end the video here. I just felt that I needed to start back with this Gaia since I hadn't put it up in so very long. I mean, look at the last time I played this game and I didn't even put up a video then. Okay, so, here we go. How could this happen? An angel died to protect a demon and then she revived so casually? Please don't kill me. I was only knocked unconscious. I knew she wasn't dead. I'll apologize for making you worry, but I won't pay any remunerations or give any other form of compensation. <gasps> Desco thought you were dead. Desco was worried. But why would you guys be worried about me? You were just about to trade me into the Corruptor Mint for the bounty reward. Only Fenric was trying to do that. We didn't really agree with him on that. This woman. Why did she risk her life to save our lord? Is she after our money, or...? Looks like another problem has arisen before the presidential eve election. Anyway, what is going on here? The deceased warden has revived and is now on to take my life? The warden was burned to ashes by Desco's attack. Yes! Mr. Warden should have been completely killed by Desco. <laughs> Did you really think that was enough to kill me? The heck? What was that? Were you just trying to imitate Axel? Huh? No, I, I didn't see anything. Wait, was that really me? Axel's ability to survive is on par with a cockroach. I might have underestimated him, thinking Desco was strong enough to kill him. We were once comrades who fought side by side. But if he intends to hinder us, choice we must exterminate him when will we come yes. right roaches must be exterminated pray that desco let slip away must be killed by desco as our final boss don't you think it's weird though axel is a natural born suck up why wasn't he with a supporting force i could see him coming up to us to polish our shoes while we're still expanding in power it sure is weird that he just attacked us. There must be a reason for that. My lord, I shall go ahead and order the Prinnies to investigate. I'm counting on that. Anyway, which area shall we head over to now, Fenric? Yes, my lord. We will head to the most challenging upper-level area where the boss-level demons live. Episode 6, The A-Virus Pandemic. Okay, yeah, so, next time when we come back, we'll begin episode 6. I mean, technically it's already begun, but, you know what I mean, doing the actual stages of the, whatever. We'll do that whenever I come back to this game. It won't be too long, though. That's nearly guaranteed. So yeah, let's go here, 
save icon will be that thing. Save. Okay, yeah, so next time. I already said this, so anyway. See you guys later. And, uh. Waiting for 100%. Uh, okay. Peace.